Harvard Engineering was founded in 1993 when the company I worked for ceased trading and they did that because they didn't keep the customer at the centre of their business. So one of the founding principles for Harvard was to make sure that we always looked after the customer and that stood us in good stead for the last 20 years. The other reason for being is that we make energy saving products environmentally friendly that have a payback and make sense, economic sense for, for our customers. And that's enabled us to grow from the kitchen table to a business turning over about £26 million this year with around 230 employees. There's a revolution occurring in the lighting industry. If you think about it, there have only ever been four light sources, candles, light bulbs, fluorescent lamps and now semiconductor LED lamps. And that's one of the markets we're in. We make energy efficient power supplies for the LED market. The other main product stream that we're active in is street lighting control systems for local authorities. We make a, a system called LeafNut which allows the local authority engineer to control his street lights over the internet from his desktop which enables him to save up to 40% of his energy costs and reduce his carbon emissions by 40% as well. The idea for LeafNut came out of a conversation I had with a local authority engineer in the southwest. He said it's great to have energy saving electronics in street lights but it'd be much better if we could control them. So I spent that night driving back up the motorway, counting street lights, trying to figure out the business model that would make sense to control so many street lights. The way we did it was by putting a radio device on each street light. Because the problem that, that exists there is there isn't such a thing as a dimmer switch for street lighting. And there's no central control. The street lights are connected to the grid. So if you turn the power down to the street lights, you turn the power down to the houses as well. So our radio device communicates with a cluster controller which sits on the internet and that gives the street lighting engineer direct access to every single street light from his desktop. It took us six years to develop LeafNut and an awful lot of money but it's been successful and worth it. We've got a product that's internationally deployed and well respected. We've also built a very strong research and development department which accounts for about 25% of our workforce. The results of that are that about 90% of our turnover comes from products that we've developed in the last two years. Over the years, lots of people have said to us, why do you manufacture in the UK? Isn't all electronics made in the Far East? But actually it makes sense for us because it allows us to keep communication links between the research and development and production departments really tight. That makes sure that we can deliver products in a short lead time to customers. We've also invested heavily in automatic equipment and people in the factory. This allows us to keep control of our quality and make sure that we deliver a market leading, world beating range of products. The government's carbon reduction commitment target for 2050 drives demand for energy efficient lighting. And a large proportion of a building's energy profile comes from the lighting installation. About 80% of the buildings that will be in existence in 2050 are already built today. Our wireless lighting products, such as LeafNut, are equally suited to retrofit and new build installations. The European Business Awards would be great for us to win because it will follow up and build on our success at the National Business Awards and the Queen's Award for Innovation. It will also instill confidence in our new customer base in Europe and internationally. We think the future is bright for Harvard.